talk about the data science in machine learning kind of stuff if you are down for that please subscribe to my channel and see the different awesome videos i make so today i'm going to talk about the data imputation so uh, you can use pandas as a library to input data in your missing data in your data frame or data sources so there could be some differences uh, the way you are going to input the data that is i'm going to showcase you today so for this i'm going to use the uh, titanic library titanic data set and in the titanic data set i'm going to input the data based on the uh, pandas library okay So for this i'm going to use the pandas library so you can see that uh, there are quite a few libraries like pandas numpy cbom at plot lift so these are the different uh, libraries which i'm going to use in my latest later videos but today more into the pandas okay so i'm uh, importing those libraries after importing the libraries i'm going to check the version of pandas you just you can just use the pd dot version and you will have it and after that uh, I'm going to import the data sets. So today so I'm, I'm going to talk about the tan Titanic data set and I'll more focus on the Titan But later I'll show more in the this other data set, which is I also have over here. Okay So what is the Titanic data set if I just uh, check it? So in Titanic data set is basically the objective is survived or not like this person is going to survive or not That is what the objective of this data set of any machine learning algorithm okay and now this is a p class p class is basically the passenger class in which class this person was belong to it's a first class or second class or third class in this way uh, he or she was a male or female okay so what was their age if they have any siblings or not if they have any parts or not fair what was the ticket price uh, the way they have for the ticket and embark and the deck it's not required uh, for the analysis right now so i've just put it there and also i've given some of the data sources which on which you can just uh, apply the different machine learning algorithms there are quite a few good uh, data sources that are available in kaggle and the uci ml repository so you can just uh, click on those links and you can just go over there and find out more about those right so these are the different data sets that are available and free of cost you can just have it and just run your machine learning algorithms on top of that and explore the data a bit okay so this is the another one so now my main topic is coming that is the data understanding okay so first of all whenever you have the data you have checked the basically what are the columns are there what are the features are there right so you have to see every detail of it when you get the data and see understand the data first before doing any kind of machine learning algorithm on top of that so for this uh, you can just check first if there is any uh, null values are there or not so right so for this what you can do titanic is null or sum so it is going to give you the sum of the null values are available in the whole data set count basically number of rows where this particular value has the null values and the, if you use just the mean it is going to be the going to give you the percentage wise like out of 100 rows 20 rows is missing so it's going to be a 20 person so in this way it is going to give so if you just run this cell you can see that in the h column is only have some 177 missing values and if for the percentage wise if you see it's around 19 percent of the whole data set okay in this way it's easy to understand that how many uh, null values are there there's a pro tip is that like if uh, your data source like in your data uh, if say, any feature is uh, missing less than five percent for suppose it is five percent or four percent or three percent in that case what you can do in that case uh, you can just remove the duplicates it is not going to affect a lot in your machine learning algorithm learning right but right now it's 19 percent and it is important feature age so that is why we are going to input this particular feature with some logic okay so that is what i'm going to showcase you today so now if i see the info of this particular data set that's the titanic data set right if i just run this cell 
uh, you can see that there are some of the information is there like what are the data types of these uh, different columns okay if there is null null value or not right 891 not null values and 714 null values uh, not null values so remaining as, as basically the 891 minus 714 that is this number uh, 177 that's the number of null values are there so in this way you can see what is the memory size and all then there are some of the statistics you can just check the basic statistics you can just <clears throat> run this cell and dot describe then dot transpose okay so if you run this cell then you can see that uh, for different different uh, columns who are numeric for them you will get the count you get the mean standard deviation uh, minimum value 25 percent 50 percent is basically the median value okay 75 percent is the 75 percent of the maximum and the max is definitely this so this is the basic statistics you can find like for age you can see that there are 714 values are there and their mean is 29 okay their standard deviation is 14 and the mean and median is definitely definitely the 28 right so now if i see the first 20 10 uh, sorry first 10 rows of this particular data set so if i just run this cell you can see that it just uh, first 10 rows so our objective right now is to input those null values so over here you can see one null value so this particular null value are the remaining 177 null values are there so we are going to input these values with some of the values available through our computation right so that there will not be any null values and we can use this particular feature more better way in your machine learning model so now what i am going to do is that uh, to check some of the relationship with age okay so suppose this particular age is null okay is null is there then i check the sex column okay. so if i just run this cell so you can see that like uh, the 177 values are null out of that 124 is male and 53 is female right so remain ma maximum null values are coming from the male side that's the first insight you are going to get then the second insight is that if i just run the cell you can see that like on top of the null values if i see the survived or not on value counts you can see that like out of 177 125 is zero so that means they are the they are not able to survive mostly it is coming from the male right so they are not going to survive and uh, they haven't survived basically and the female part is more survived like you can see that the 52 have survived one mean survived and the female first participation was around 53 so it's a possibility that females are more survived in that particular disaster what happened at the time famous disaster so after that you have some of the idea of the how the age null values are distributed so that means there is some relationship with the sex and the survive like okay we can see that there is some relationship with the if uh, this person is male or female or if he survived or not there is a strong relationship we can understand from this um, value comments basically so now i'm going to see in the whole data set what is the mean value of age okay irrespective of the they've survived or not or their sex they are female or male right so it's you can see that it's around 29.67 so 69 so it's around 29.7 percent 29.7 value not the percent is the value of the age of the mean value. okay so and also see the distribution of their mean and median or survived so you can see that if this particular person have survived one mean survived and that is their age mean is 28 mean or average age or if they haven't survived that means it's 30 okay so what is the median value then for median it's surprisingly the same value so like 28 28 okay so that means the mean and median is not the same so the, it is not centralized on the uh, on the mean and the median part okay it's not very normalized if i can say okay so for this 
we are going to use two different methods to input the missing values in the age column and see how this particular distribution this particular distribution is going to change so it will tell you how good your data preparation has become right so for this i'm going to open this particular age imputation section so in the age imputation section uh, i am going to separate the data set the titanic data set into two parts the first part is basically is null so i'll just check the age column which is null or not right i'll just use this particular method is null it is going to check it is null value then i filter the data on the titan in this particular condition and using this particular condition not null okay so for not null it's not a problem we know it's already there for the null that is a problem i have to impute the values okay so now I'm going to import the age based on the sex and survived. We have seen that there is a relationship between the sex and survived. So that is what we're going to do here. So you can see that like I've just taken the age not null particular data frame, which is I have already filtered over there. And then I group by this particular data frame on survived and sex. Okay. If they have survived or not, and if they have survived, what was the sex at the time? Based on that, we're going to guess the age minimum okay if they have survived if they are male or if they are female what is was their mean uh, sorry uh, their mean age okay age not null because there is some values are already there okay so if i just run this cell you are going to see this distribution okay so you can see that like if this particular person if she is female and she haven't survived so in that case the average is around 25 okay and if it's female and they have survived so that means it's around 28 okay it's a little higher age of the female part and for male also like if if their age is uh, like if they haven't survived and they're male then that means their age is uh, higher and if they have survived and they're male so that means their age is lower like 27 mean age so you have found four different values in this way like if they have survived or not if what was their sex and in the on on the basis of these two we are going, going to get the age minimum mean age or average age so that is what we are going to input in the whole data set right so dropping so now i'm going to dropping the age column from this data set in the age null column because i'm going to add this particular data set over there age column over there because it's already null so i'm dropping that i'm just running this okay so now i'm going to merge this particular uh, data frame which i've created age imputation right so you can see that titanic age null dot merge i'm going to merge it with age imputation on these two column like survived or not or what was the sex okay zero one or six uh, male or female on the basis of that i'm going to do the left join on that and i'm going to get this uh, particular data set you can see so there was an null values on to all these rows so now it has been imputed based on the data frame which i have created earlier over there 25 31 28 27 in this way it is going to import those values 31 27 28 31 okay so it has been imputed so now i'm going to see the distribution before that i'm just concat the two data sets the concat i'm going to use the concat method and i'm going to use the uh, age not null which is already perfect and age null which i have inputted over there age null okay to concat this two on the on the rows x is equal to zero so if i just run this cell it is going to create another data frame which is titanic age imputed and over here all the age column is the value is there already okay so now if i see the if the if i see if there is an null value in the data set or not so in that case you can see that there is no any null values right now h is zero and if i see the distribution right now you can see that the distribution is uh, around more centralized you can see that the mean of zero is 30 mean of median of zero is almost 31 okay and if they have survived that means one their mean is 28 and their median is also 28 it is more centralized it is more uh, 
more good basically based on the data characteristics we have included it and see also uh, earlier it was around i can say earlier it was around this 30 28 20 28 there was no any differentiation in terms of the median value it was same okay so now the mean haven't changed a lot but the median have changed based on the mean so you can see that 30 28 but the it is improved like 31 28 it is there is more differentiation on that so the model can learn those differentiations and able to give more predictions better predictions so this is the first part for the second part what i'm going to do i'm going to just use the overall age irrespective of they have survived or not or they are male or female so on top of that i'm going to use the average of all and to import this right so for this i'm going to run the app of cell again uh, this cell i think this separation cell okay so it is now refreshed again this particular variables now if i go below uh, okay so there is a titanic age in all this particular data plan of the null values for age so now i'm going to fill this particular null value with the overall age like age not null data frame have the all the values of age which is already present i'm just going to use the mean of this age without doing anything on that so if i just run this cell okay it has been imputed with the fill and a comment okay so earlier i have used the march column march uh, method and now i have used the fill in a simple method so now again i'm going to do the concatenation a similar way okay and see the null value is there or not in the data set so there is no any null value right now okay titanic age imputation the null value is not there so again we see the distribution right so you can see that the distribution is little change but not that good which uh, we have done already so it was around 28 28 now it's around 29 29 and it is 30 28 though distribution is almost uh, similar compared to earlier it was 28 only and now one point have improved nothing has changed so uh, i hope you have uh, understood the logic i'm trying to tell you you have to go more deep into the data set to understand it and include the data set properly so that it can help you in your machine learning uh in machine learning model training so i hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to me please subscribe to my channel and uh, see the different kind of awesome videos i make uh, check out the cards which i've given um, all the information is out there so i have i i'm going to see you soon in my next video until then happy data science man